welcome to my channel if you're new here please make sure to hit that subscribe button it helps me out a lot and if you are a returner i am so glad you are back before we even get into this video i would like to take the time out to apologize for being away for so long i know it has been a while since i posted my last video however life and just work has just consumed me it has taken up so much of my time, but I'm gonna make the constant effort to stay consistent because this is something that I love to do. I love to film. So we have, we've gotten that out of the way. Can we please get into the video? Okay. Since it is back to school season, I have compiled 10 tips or advice that I would give myself or anybody else going back to school. Um, for those of you who don't know, I recently graduated from Binghamton University. So I just graduated from college. I'm freshly new, but I got this whole summer to kind of like reflect and think about my experiences, what I did right, what I did wrong. And I think these 10 tips are key. So bring your pen and paper, take notes, because I'm about to spill all the tea give you all the gems so that you don't make the same mistakes that I did, or you can benefit from things that I think I personally did right, okay? So my first tip is your freshman year matters. Yes, I said it, you heard it here first. Um, going into college, a lot of people said, yeah, your first year you get to do whatever you want because it's not gonna affect your GPA or you could build your GPA up no that is wrong that's false whoever told you that they don't like you don't listen to them honestly freshman year i would say is one of the easiest year so why not use that opportunity to build up your gpa because it only gets harder from there right so freshman year go hard on your classes um build your gpa yeah you can have fun too however focus on your gpa and build that up because it only gets harder the classes get harder so don't take your freshman year lightly for me personally i was never a slacker like if i was gonna if i'm gonna do anything i'm gonna make sure that i put my best and my all into it and freshman year i came into college like straight out of senegal straight out of my gap year so i was like excited and ready to learn like i was so motivated like nobody was gonna tell me nothing like i took my freshman year very seriously and that helped me out a lot that helped me build my gpa and because i had that strong gpa i didn't want to like see it go down so i kept building up from there so yeah don't take your freshman year lightly y'all my second advice is pertaining to finances your loans y'all don't take loans if you don't have to at the refund check might seem very hefty very juicy you're balling you know you got that refund check however you have to think about the future you're gonna have to pay this off with interest. And one thing that I'm learning right now is that you can't build wealth if you're in debt. Let me say that again. You can't build wealth if you're in debt. And these decisions start from here when you're taking loans from school, little loans, and you think you're gonna be able to spend it here and then pay it off later. Don't do it if you don't have to. I know obviously there are reasons, there are some financial circumstances where you have no other option but to take out the loans. That is understandable, but I'm telling y'all now, like don't do it if you don't have to because you're gonna have to then pay it off with interest. And by the time you realize you're gonna be working outside of college and all your paycheck is going to loans because you made wrong financial decisions in college. Um, for me personally, I took loans my freshman year because I absolutely had to, like, if I didn't have those loans, I wouldn't be able to kind of like pay for my classes and live on campus because we we had to live on campus our first year. So once I moved off campus, I think I, I didn't even take any loans after that. I was able to kind of, my Pell Grant and my FAFSA was able to pay for my tuition and the refund that I got from that, I was able to pay my rent outside of um, the dorm situation and my third year I was able to apply for RA and move back on campus so that worked out for me but um, 
yeah my first year i took out a lot of loans like my parents couldn't afford to help me so i had to do it on my own and loans were the only option do I my next tip is to find a strong medium and a balance between education life and your social life i know it's kind of hard because in college living on campus like your classes your social life everything is just jumbled up between in intertwined between everything else you know so it's hard to kind of separate this is my learning time and this is my social time because everything is just so blended together however finding that balance between both will help a lot i know my freshman year it was really hard for me because i would go to class and then come back, take a nap, and then go to class again. And it was just like so weird because in high school, you just go to class all throughout and then go home. But now you live and go to class the same in the same environment. So it was just hard to kind of separate the two, you know, the two environments. But once I figured out a schedule and a routine, that was, it helped me out a lot. So I would say just try to find a balance, like, do the social socialization but also find time to learn and study because we just talked about loans you're taking all these you're taking out all these loans to pay for these classes so you might as well just pay attention and do what you gotta do because you're paying for it it's not free it's not free you might get financial aid but that's also money you're paying for it so think about it in that aspect as well. next advice is to network 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 push yourself outside of your comfort zone to network your classmate is probably gonna be your future nurse or your future doctor your future businessman like those people that you see just walking around network with them build relationships with them push yourself outside your of your comfort zone don't stick with the same group of people that you you always hang out with like push yourself to meet other people and see what they're about because future if you need somebody or you need a doctor to call oh i knew that sam in my biomed class and he's a doctor now as so and so let me call him up or you're in a sticky situation and you need a lawyer and you're like wow i took that political science class with so and so thank god i didn't burn bridges with them let me call them up and see what they're up to you know network build relationships put yourself push yourself outside of your comfort zones it's not always you have to stick with the same three to four people that you always hang out with i'm telling you it'll do you a lot of good if you know more diverse group of people my next tip is to take a diverse range of courses in college, especially your first and second year. If you're still trying to explore, trying to figure out what you like and what you don't like and what you would like to major in, take advantage of those wide range of courses that colleges offer. You know, I remember my freshman year, I signed up for this two credit class called, called Can Animals Speak? like it seemed very out of this world to me like can animals speak i don't know you tell me like it just seemed very interesting to me so i decided to sign up why not it's a two credit and just because of that class it kind of set me up for my next three years and this is why because the professor that taught that class I actually worked in the career center and we actually became very cool and very close so she put me on to the job at the career center and i applied and it, it, it just became a snowball in effect like so my next tip is pertaining to social life y'all listen to me come closer you have to learn now that people come and go okay and that has nothing to do with you or who you are as a person. People what? Come and go. And honestly, you can't blame them either. Like college is a place where people are growing, experimenting, trying new things, you know? So if me and you fit now, doesn't necessarily mean like next semester or next year, me and you are gonna fit. Like people grow apart, people grow together like college is just a one big crazy show honestly i'm not even gonna lie to you like 
friends go down in college like people have mental breakdowns like people go through stuff in college so don't take things that people do to you as a reflection of who you are because they might have something going on in their life or in their corner that you have no you have no take in or you have no understanding about or you don't even know it's going it's going on so just be there for people as much as you can honestly at this point i've even lost count of what tip i'm on so we're not even gonna number them anymore so my next one my next advice or a tip or something that i want you guys to take advantage of is the resource centers or the resources that you have in your specific colleges you guys are paying for this the career center the counseling center your professors these are all resources that you have at your, at your fingertip that most people don't take advantage of take advantage of it now like set up a time set up a schedule so that you can go speak to a counselor set up a time so you can visit that career center to get your resume checked set up a time to go to office hours to speak to your professor your grades are in their hands right like just take advantage of all the resources you have available don't just get stuck in your room doing nothing watching netflix all day it's not gonna do you no good you're only there for four years maximize your time maximize your resources speaking of resources the career center i worked at the career center um i was a career consultant and i pretty much checked resumes and cover letters and hook people up with jobs and internships it was a really good time like i enjoyed my time working at the career center because i got to meet a lot of new people and like build relationships and network like that was my favorite i'm not gonna lie that was my favorite job on campus i was also an ra but i would say like my time at the career center like really did the thing it took the cake so um take advantage of it go in there get your resume checked get internships don't waste your summers don't waste your summers go in there get get your resume checked plan ahead of time so that you can get secure that internship that you want if you want me to do another video on like how to secure an internship or stuff pertaining to job and internship search please leave it in the um in the comment section below because this is something that i'm passionate about like i want everybody to be able to have a job outside of college you need to be making plans for the future while you're in college and yeah if you want me to speak more on that make sure to comment in the sub um, comment section below and i'll be sure to provide that as well my next and final advice is to make sacrifices like you're only in college for this period of time and your life is this big like you have so much more to live and experience right so if you've made that decision to commit yourself to four years of college make those four years worthwhile okay so make those sacrifices that you have to come up with a plan write out your goals and make sure that you're making plan to make sure that you're actually taking steps to achieving those goals you might get sidetracked which is inevitable but always go back to your goals and plans and make sure that you're working towards them college is so much different from high school you make these decisions yourself nobody's gonna tell you to wake up and go to class nobody's gonna tell you to do your homework nobody's gonna tell you to complete that assignment you have to find that within yourself to do that so that comes with setting up the goal coming up with a plan and knowing what you're there for and doing what you gotta do so you could get out in that four years okay I hope you guys learned a thing or two from this video. These are all things that I did or I personally wish I knew going into college. So I hope this helped you out a lot. If you have any more tips or anything that you think I'm missing or I haven't spoken about, make sure to leave it in the comment section below. Let's open up a dialogue. Let's start a conversation. We might be able to learn from each other. So yeah, leave those comments in the comment section below. And once again, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Too much, 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 too much,
too much, too much sauce, too much sauce, too much. Too much.